Have you all heard the term or quote, use it or lose it? Well, if not, stick around for this episode to hear more about what I mean. <laughs> Welcome to Bombastic Views, the podcast where people might give the topics that we talk about side eye, but we're so here for it. And I do want to say I highly apologize, you guys, for being uh, gone so long and taking quite a long break, but I definitely needed a, a long-awaited, necessary, necessary needed mental break. The cards in the universe have spoken and told me I needed to be in hermit mode and that it would prepare me for this next season of my life. And for that, I have been so grateful and thankful for that, so... But I'm back, and I have quite a few of updates happening. My magazine has been on pause, but is going to uh, getting worked on the August edition. But also, I found a different uh, distributor to do uh, paperback for you guys to make that available. I was in a music competition. It was called America's Next Top Hitmaker, and I came in number seventh. No, I did not win the competition, but it was such a dream to be a part of that. And last, but definitely not least to come, I have my own music video, my very first music video now that is available on YouTube, um, Instagram, Facebook, all platforms. Um, and that is my music video for the Life Lifeline song that you guys just heard playing now. So, yeah, we definitely got some amazing, awesome, exciting things coming up for you guys. So this episode will be like a quick um, mini podcast for motivation. Um, This topic is called Use It or Lose It, which for those who know what I'm talking about, Stick, stick stick, around, yes. And for those who don't know what I'm talking about, and you're like, what is this girl? What does she mean? Let's get into it. So that little saying, at least personally for me, I've always heard like athletic gurus or people who are very fit and active um, use this term and, or this quote. And for me, I feel like it means that if you don't upkeep your um, health state as far as like mobility, you lose it. You know, if you were a ballerina uh, like 10 years ago, but you stopped dancing and you try to go back to dancing, it is going to be rough. <laughs> Trust me, I, I, I'm i the ballerina, okay? Um, it's rough. So, Trying to be active all over again out of nowhere, it is not a terrible thing, but definitely believe it's going to be hard. And honestly, it's funny because this can go for many things, right? Like if you're a singer and you have not practiced singing, once again, I'm that singer, um, you haven't practiced singing for a while, you build up a lot of trauma in your throat, you get a raspy throat, which is what I'm experiencing right now. Um, You don't, you know, you, if you don't practice singing, if you don't move those vocal cords, and warm ups do warm ups though that singing voice that you you know it doesn't matter if you were a soprano and alto you just like was able to have a, a broad range of singing if you have not practiced or used those chords throughout your life honey let me tell you once again like i said i'm that singer i am struggling to get back to where i was because i stopped i let life get to me and Long story short, um, I'm now making music and trying to remember to stay true to my sound, but also show my voice, you know? So like I said, literally to me, what that saying means is that whatever you're passionate about, passionate about whatever you were doing, um, keep going at it. Because like any craft that you have, if you don't practice it, you kind of like, you kind of like lose your mojo per se. But 
This episode, we are going to pertain it to exercising and mobility because it is definitely important to move up until you're like past, uh, passed away, gone, literally, because your heart, your cardio always needs to be going. Um, your heart is a, con- is a, a constant moving, working muscle, and it needs to be It needs to be worked out. And so we're going to get into that for sure. One thing I was struggling with before (laughs) in our previous episodes was struggling to find statistics. But I think we are good on this and that I will find statistics because there are plenty of studies done, plenty of science that proves that if you are not mobile if you don't do not continue to stay mobile throughout your life um throughout your childhood throughout your adulthood throughout your geriatric hood you are going to regret it (laughs) i'm telling you now uh i am 31 and my i was in an auto accident in 2020 um and my knee has woo it, it it is inflamed when it's raining or when the season wants to change up but more so now i'm it's now traveling up to my hip my left hip and it's just so uncomfortable and i feel so inadequate sometimes because i'm 31 and i'm in in, in this much pain but i'm a dancer you know like i said i'm starting my music career Uh, So I'm going to be more moving around. I have to be active to be able to keep up with my music, keep up with myself. Um, And so like just being in this uh, funk of I want to be active, but it hurts to be active is very it's kind of emotional. It makes me emotional, you know, but nevertheless, we must continue. I must continue. Um, That is actually the most important thing about staying active is if you have an injury as long as you're healed properly right um it's important to keep that injured part of your body moving and so in my exercise regimen my new exercise regimen i included working out my neck um for the slip discs that i had uh my you know spine just because it's good to work out your spine my shoulders uh my knee my hip so Working out areas that you have injured or know they were injured in the past um, to make sure that they keep their mobility is important. All right, without further ado, let's get into some statistics on why using it or losing it is very valid. (laughs) Okay, well, I didn't find quotes per se or statistics per se. tongue twister but i did find facts from harvard university's um website so let's look into let's look into that okay um it's a quick little article so i'll go ahead and um read through it but it says staying in shape a case of use it or lose it our fitness can quickly diminish if we stop exercising Here's how to safely get back in the game. Now, this article is by Maureen Salomon. um, But like I said, if you go on to Harvard University's website, it will be right there. It says here, everybody needs a little time away from jobs, people, and even exercise. But if you've stayed fit and strong from diligent, regular workouts, it's astonishing how quickly it can all slip away if you take weeks or months off either voluntarily or because of illness or injury. Beyond losing exercise's immediate benefits, including sounder sleep and stress relief, the disadvantages of stopping become rapidly apparent. The phenomenon is called deconditioning, and it happens to both recreational exercises uh, exercisers and elite athletes. So pretty much all types of people. Uh, then there's a quote here that says, uh, it will happen no matter who you are. Dr. Freights says, we say exercise is medicine and it's true when you take the medicine or in this case, 
do the exercise. You reap the benefits, but it's use it or lose it. And then this uh, paragraph says, endurance and strength suffer. What does it mean to lose fitness and how quickly does it erode? That depends on the category. Cardiovascular fitness is the fastest to decline, it says. Within just a few days of our last aerobic exercise session, our hearts pump less blood around the body. And the body that's circulating to cells and muscles contains less oxygen. Only a few weeks later, you'll find yourself huffing and puffing to complete the same brisk walk that you used to be able to do with no problem. <laughs> Cycling route or swim route uh, you'd once done with ease. Your heart might be pounding too. Perhaps you'll notice that you, can, you can't talk while you're walking up that hill like you did four weeks ago. Dr. Freight says, something that was moderate intensity exercise for you before is now vigorous and you might feel like stopping earlier. Muscle strength takes longer to lose after you've been inactive. About two months, you won't be able to lift as much as you do as many repetitions as before your hiatus. Uh, the same weights or body resistance exercises will prove far more fatiguing and your muscles will likely feel extremely sore within a day or working out again. The good news Muscle memory is real, meaning shrunken muscle fibers can indeed rebound. Dr. Freight says you can get back to muscle strengthening a little more quickly than you can get back to the same level of cardiovascular conditioning, she says. So, yes, um, muscle memory is real. It is there. It is pretty much easy, <laughs> easily accessible. Sometimes, you know, it all depends on like genetics, um, diet, all types of things, right? But for the most part, muscle memory is not the hard part. It's the cardiovascular part. So if you're not, you know, trying to get toned, trying to get fit, at least get your cardio going because your heart is like one of the very, mo the very most important organs in your body. And if you don't take care of that, Everything else kind of goes haywire. This next bit of information that I gained um, was on the website of World Health Organization, um, or WHO. <laughs> uh, but this is more information to back up why physical activity is so important. So according to them, uh, regular physical activity provides significant physical and mental health benefits. Um, an adult's physical activity contributes to prevention and management of non-communicable diseases such as cardiovascular diseases, cancer, and diabetes, and reduces symptoms of depression and anxiety, enhances brain health, and can improve overall well-being. In children and adolescents, physical activity promotes bone health, encourages healthy growth and development of muscle, and improves motor and cognitive development. 31% uh, of adults and 80% of adolescents do not meet the recommended levels of physical activity. The global target set to reduce levels of physical in inactivity in adults and adolescents is a 10% relative reduction by 2025 and 15% by 2030 from the 2010 baseline. The global estimate of the cost of physical inactivity to public health care systems between 2020 and 2030 is about, uh, in U.S. money, $300 billion, approximately $27 billion per year if levels of physical inactivity are not reduced. Womp womp. Oh, wait, I have a sound for that. Womp womp. Okay, so I, you know, I always find a video um, to, you know, kind of stand in for my interviews. <laughs> but I found this awesome video that's not too long. Um, it's called Understanding the Importance of Cardio for Heart Health. And it's from KVU on YouTube, K-V-U-E. So go ahead and check th them out, y'all. 
but let's get into their video of why cardio is so important. This Sunday, runners preparing to race through the streets of downtown Austin. You know, doctors say these runners have the right idea by adding daily exercise into their routines. KVU's Malia Masamoto spoke with the doctor today about how just 30 minutes of exercise every day can improve your heart health. Runner and oncologist Crystal Murray has been training this past year for a half marathon and the cap 10K this weekend. I'll run anywhere between kind of three and six miles during that, that week time. Which only takes her around 30 to 60 minutes a day. And cardiologists say that by building an everyday exercise routine of under an hour, you can efficiently improve your heart health. The heart is like any muscle in the body, right? You need to train it so, they, so it can work well. Dr. Condado says as long as you're increasing your heart rate and sweating, you're doing a good job. A common number we use is 220 minus your age. That's sort of like the maximal heart rate that you want to be reaching when you're exercising. But Dr. Condado also warns patients not to jump into intensive training too quickly. You want to slowly build up the distance and every day exercise continuously to build up that muscle. And says that sporadic exercise can actually be harmful to your body. If you're just racing one day, but then don't exercise for two weeks, that really is not helping you. It's just making you think that you do some exercise, but it's not really a good, successful exercise for your heart. To keep from putting extra stress on your body, he says to stick to a training routine. If you create that routine, you are more successful in maintaining that continuous event. And for Murray, who works in the medical field, she plans to continue her walking and running routine as she ages. I see the impact of staying active and healthy on my patients and it's very clear to me that those who are really active and keep moving can continue to move up until their 80s and even 90s. So whether you're training for a race or not, doctors say raising your heart rate every day can help improve your heart health over time. In Austin, I'm Malia Masamoto. It's pretty awesome. Well, I hope you guys found the that information and those videos very informative and that they helped, you know, get you motivated and just to keep moving. But now it is time for my poetry segment. Poetic justice at your service. But I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of going to try something new here. I'm just feeling like the creative juice is flowing. So let's do a freestyle. Okay. Okay. Use it or lose it. Use it or lose it. Do not abuse it, but use it or lose it. 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 Don't abuse it. Wait a minute. Here I am telling you to stay active, but I can't even stay active myself. But we gon' get this in. We gon' do this good. We gon' work on cardio. That's a fact. We gon' work that heart out. Make the muscles stretch and flex. We gon' work it out. Let them heart muscles stretch and flex, stretch and flex. Use it or lose it, use it or lose it, do not abuse it. Hey, yeah, use it or lose it, do not abuse it, use it or lose it. We gon' flex the muscles in that heart. Cardio workout works really good. Yes, we gon' work it out. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey. you can do it, nothing to it. Just stay to it, regimen it, don't give up, don't give in, you're going to win, don't pretend, or at least do, live in Delulu, till you get it done, you can do it, run, run it up, oh, like Nike, just do it, like Nike, <laughs> you can do it, there's nothing to it, you can do it, if you need a friend to get it in. And keep it going. You can do it. You can even do a dance. Stay active. Because cardio really just means to keep your heart jumping and pumping and flowing that blood and jumping. You can do it. Nothing to it. You can do it. You can do it. Nothing to it. You can. You can do it. You can do it. Nothing to it. You can do it. Nothing to it. Hey. 
use it or lose it, yeah, use it or lose it, but don't you abuse it, use it or lose it, use it or lose it, use it or lose it, do not abuse it, but use it or lose it, ow. Yes, guys, remember, don't, don't strenu, don't make this a strenuous thing, make it fun. Just get your heart moving, that's all you gotta do. If you don't want to be a bodybuilder, you don't have to be a bodybuilder. Just do what you need to do. <laughs> I really, I hope y'all like that. That's something new I'm going to be doing. It is kind of poetry because I'm just letting it flow off the dome. But it's not quite poetry. Your traditional poetry, I should say. But if you guys like what you hear, like what you see, I make, I make actual music. And this is my song here. I do have more music coming. I will be recording more songs very soon. I'm just in the middle of like, packing and, and stuff like that but this is my song lifeline Yes, that is my song. And like I said, I have that music video out on all platforms. It is available everywhere. So please check that out because I actually had my hubby just help me with the recording it. But I did the um, directing the styling i did my own makeup i did i edited it myself like guys this is a project it's a project please check it out please check it out okay so i this is my take right my take on using it or lose it use it or lose it right um i am not a fitness guru whatsoever this is something that is very i have a love-hate relationship with because exercising I'm not good at mentally it just does not feel good to me um and then it really makes me feel very uncomfortable and someone who has ADHD possible autism I just don't like the thought of being uncomfortable isn't just annoying it's (laughs) gut-wrenching it's gut-wrenching so exercising um is something that I just I just can't do I'd rather do yoga I'd rather dance I'd rather hike something that's going to take my mind off of the fact the fact that I am exercising and that being said I have little ones that you know I can't do excessive hiking with or you know extreme um sports with because of course they're you know too small to do those things uh some of those things that i named and uh so it's just very hard for to have accountability and then you know my man he works all the time um and so like we did talk like hey we need to like get better at this because cardio is where it's at at least (laughs) like we don't have to uh, have hot bods or nothing like that but we definitely want to at least feel good at our age so um cardio is just something that um i've just been like you know what if i can't if i can't get fit that's okay but i definitely want to at least stay cardio fit right um i like i said not a fitness guru but I, when I was a like caregiver slash mentor slash activity coordinator um, for uh, the disabled community um, at an, at a company, I used to try to do like um, teach them how to do wheelchair exercises. Um, of course, not over pushing anyone because like. Did that doctor you heard himself say, do not overexert yourself, do not push yourself, that's for anyone. Um, But, uh, you know, I would try to show them wheelchair exercises, um, just like how um, how to move to still like keep your arms mobile. Um, 
that because that rotator cuff right here I, I think that's what it's called don't get me wrong but this right here um I noticed a lot of my friends who had like cerebral palsy um uh, I cannot speak today cerebral palsy they uh tended to always keep their um selves like hunched like this and it was like let's 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 exercise let's get some of like this moving and um I just noticed like they they felt better um or felt good or felt like this is new like what is this <laughs> so um I just I absolutely think no matter who you are um what your condition there is something to keep you um going and flowing but yeah like i said for myself personally um what i did to start uh, keeping myself accountable uh is doing tiktok dancing um like i go on tiktok and i like go live and just do a dance type uh dance style um, another thing that I do is I work out, um, you know, three days on, uh, one day off, two days on, one day off. Thanks to hubby, he helped me with that regimen schedule. But and and I don't push myself. I ex when I do have an on day for exercise, I only do it for fifteen to twenty minutes, not a half hour, not an hour. And that's just because I'm like getting back into it. But as I get more into it and you know back into it steadily, yes, the time will increase and the increments will increase. Like I won't just work out once a day. I'll work out more than you know once a day like two to three times a day, but that's not right now, not right now, <laughs> but the, the point is, is that I have goals, okay, and that is what you guys should all have, is goals to, whether it be um, figure out how to do a split, if your goal is to do a split, do it, honey, if your goal is to go hiking every Saturday, do it, whatever you got to do to just make yourself feel like you are still keeping up with yourself, so um, definitely some things to do while you're doing this is to stay hydrated, um, have an accountability friend, or if you don't know anyone, have a schedule next to you or up where you can see it, so it's not out of sight, out of mind. Um, and stick to that schedule. Stick to that schedule as much as possible because that's kind of where we, I personally tend to slip is when I don't, like, in my head, I'm like, oh, I missed a day. Now I'm mad. I got to miss another day. Or I got to push myself extra harder the next day. No. Um, if you miss a day, that's okay. Just stick to your schedule as much as possible and you will not regret it. Um, definitely watch your diet. If you're exercising, but eating unhealthy every day, every other day, three days in a row, um, it's not good for you. It's not good for you. Maybe when you were like younger, <laughs> okay, like, like younger kid to like 20, maybe, but, you know, at a certain age, you're like, you got to come to terms with knowing that your age, your age in your body, your body does age. OK, and it does evolve and need better things. It just needs better things. And that would be it. Diet. Don't exercise and then have a poor diet. Don't do it to yourself. And most importantly, have fun if you're not having fun while exercising or doing something that is get, t taking your mind off of exercising, you're going to have a problem with it. It's going to seem like a chore. It's going to seem annoying. So um, like I said, I dance, I do yoga, I hike, I um, go on you, uh, live on TikTok and just be like, hey guys, I'm dancing around, ha ha ha, but I'm still exercising. Um, or even if you just jump around the house and just like go up and down your stairs anything is better than nothing use it or lose it okay yeah don't don't overexert yourself um don't exercise in dark places i had to just say that 
use the buddy system, please. If you're going to exercise, I always advocate for this because I have daughters, I have kids, you know. Um, if you're going to go exercise somewhere, take a hike somewhere, make sure you have a friend or two. Extra points for two or three. Okay, yeah. Love you guys. Moral of the story to wrap this episode up is as long as you're staying, as long as you're working out your cardio, your heart muscles, um, you are winning. You're winning. That's just my opinion. And, and apparently Harvard's. <laughs> and, and the doctor that spoke. So my one minute rant. Here we go. I know people like to use the term big back. Big bag, big bag. No, we are not using that that term no more. We're not using that term no more. Okay, because even if someone doesn't look fit in your eyes, they still could be cardio fit. So don't be uneducated. Don't be don't don't be insane in the membrane. Do some research. Okay, get educated. Because just because people don't look fit, I'm going to say it again. Let me say it one more time. If, if, if somebody don't look fit to you physically, drink your water and mind your business. Because physical fitness ain't all it and ain't all where it's at. So, cardio, baby. Cardio. Okay, guys, well, this wraps this episode up. I hope you absolutely get motivated and enjoyed this episode. Um, I try to stick to topics that are near and dear to me. So, um, but if you guys have any, like, suggestions or topics that you would love to send in to us, please email us at Variety Views. That's Variety Views with a Z. Views with a Z at gmail.com and just let us know what's on your mind what topics you want me to talk about or even if you want to be um, a guest on my show I would absolutely love that I would love that so much so please email us and let us know other than that it's a wrap I will see you guys next time what will our topic be next week you gotta wait, you gotta tune in, you gotta wait. <laughs> you can beg and plead, get on your knees and swear to me. You keep calling me, but I'm not falling. Me. I know you want all of me. I'm in your mind a week, I'll in your arteries. I know you want more of me. <laughs> I love you guys. Mwah. 